Hello everybody, welcome to dev blog number 12, and this is the biome edition. So, um, as you may or may not know, I know next to nothing about biomes, which is why I am totally qualified to be the one making this video. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's make a name, and we're going to call this... Um, I don't know. Snowy Tundra? Tundra. Can I have spaces in the biome name? I'm assuming not. Because the other one didn't. So we'll do that. And we're going to kind of base this off of the grassland, I guess. Node dust. No idea what that means, so I'm going to leave it alone. Node top equals ground dirt with snow. Interestingly enough, because you know it's a snowy tundra. Uh, node filler is going to obviously just be ground dirt. Because that's what fills in underneath the top. Depth filler, uh, that I think is how many nodes deep the node filler goes. So how many nodes in this case? Oh, and depth top. I should have probably put that line in. I don't know why I forgot that. I mean, I'm literally just copying from one to the other, but typing it all out. Depth top is only going to be one because if you put snow... Uh, dirt with snow on top of dirt with snow, you're going to see a layer of snow between the two nodes, and I'm just going to look silly. Uh, I'm going to do four nodes of dirt underneath the dirt with snow. Then I have noted this node stone, node water top, what all of that means. But I think we're going to go ahead and try node stone equals, and what stone do I have here? that would make sense like would anything even make sense is there really any reason for that everything seems to just have no stone to nothing map gen i'm assuming it just defaults to use ground stone is my assumption so to uh to test it out Let's do ground desert stone in there. So node stone, we're going to go ahead and do ground desert stone. And we'll see if we get desert stone underneath the dirt in the snowy tundras. It really wouldn't make sense for that to be there, but just as a test, we're going to try it. Node riverbed, well, I don't have any riverbeds in a snowy tundra. But I see everything that I have put in so far has used riverbeds. Yeah, well, let's, let's do it. Node riverbed equals ground sand. Nothing special there. And depth riverbed is... Uh, I'll just do one. I don't think I'll have any. Okay, and here's where the magic stuff happens. Y underscore min equals something. Let's do 12. And Y underscore max equals 30. I have no idea what these numbers mean, nor where they should be put. Heat point. Um, I mean, we are talking about something cold, so we're going to do heat point of 10, I suppose. And humidity point. Uh, let's do that at 47. It can't hurt anything, can it? I don't know. Let's uh, let's minimize this. Actually, I don't want it this big. Uh, I want a smaller window. There we go. All right, let's go to... And let's actually try a new one. And let's just call it Biome. And let's use a seed of Biome. Because, I mean, why not? And this will give us a brand new world. Oh, wow. What luck. We have spawned someplace that has snow. 
That's pretty dope. I like it. Okay, well, let's let's see how this worked. So we have the dirt with snow node. And we have dirt and dirt and dirt and desert stone. Which for some reason is like glowing or something weird. But then we have some ground stone here. Which I'm guessing if I dig up here. Which I can't do because I don't have the necessarily privileges to fly. But I'm guessing there's probably dirt above this area. Let's go ahead and... I think there's actually an option that I should probably enable that just gives me those to default. Yep. Okay, so that is... If you define a stone, you can put a custom stone underneath. And now this will just keep going for... How long? Um, looks like forever. Well, what if you wanted to have a custom stone underneath, but not... Oh, wait, nope. We just hit... Um, I want to go up. Turn off fast. Okay, so... At... Negative 35 or 34, we turned to normal stone. Okay, well, that's good because you, I guess, would maybe not want to be forever being that one specific material. I am confused as to why there's light here. Like, why is there extra light at that point? There shouldn't be. Huh. Um... Let's see. So what do these what do these numbers mean? Y min and Y max. I don't get what those numbers are. Would Y be elevation? So nothing above thirty would have snow? Is that what I should believe? And nothing below 12 will have snow. Alright, so I'm here. And yeah, we're looking at node well, 13. So that could be what that means. But let's find out. I love learning this way. Learning by experimenting. Sometimes the documentation on things is not all it's cracked up to be. Ah! And at 30, we have now exited that biome. So let me go ahead and throw some comments into the code here, just so I can remember for myself and for anybody else looking at this code, so they know what this stuff means. Y minimum, this is going to be lowest point possible for biome to spawn in. I don't know if biomes really spawn, but you get the point. Highest point possible for biome to exist. I think exist is probably a better word because if you say spawn and it kind of makes you think like it could go higher, it doesn't have to main, remain between these two, just that's where it's, um, that's where it's going to spawn. That's its uh, origin, but it could range out of that, but it can't. So, uh, in that case, let's put the snowy tundra much higher. Let's put it up to 60 so we can have snow going higher. And what we're going to do is delete that world and then create a new world. We'll call it the exact same name and we'll use the same seed. So theoretically, we should have the exact same map. Is this the same map? This looks about the same to me. I need to find out how to do that. Okay, where was that high point I was at? I don't remember. Oh, it was right over here. I think. So let's see. We were at... Oh, I need to turn this on. It cut off at the top three because we were above 30. And now they stay snow. 
Very nice. Oh, and look at this. So we have the snow, then we have the dirt, and then we have desert stone here. Going through. And then we have normal stone because we have the grass. Okay, that's pretty slick. So then why are my beaches all so horrid? I don't get it. It's just because there's no biome existing there? Like, how do you even figure out what a biome is going to exist in? As far as, like, spaces where biomes won't be. Because I imagine there's no biome here. Because I don't remember ever setting up a biome that used stone as the top of it. I have grassland dunes with sand. And I have desert with desert sand. So, um, I see a, a problem here. <laughs> and here. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. So the lowest point the dunes can exist in is 5, and that's also its highest point. So theoretically, it could be 1 node thick. Let's change that. Dunes can be up to 20 nodes high. The desert? Well, deserts could be... We'll do 30 high. And their max can actually be uh, negative 10. So they can exist below sea level. Heat point 96, humidity. I mean, that looks good to me. I have no idea what this stuff should really be or how this affects anything it's got to have some kind of mathematic relationship but I don't know what it is okay let's delete that let's make a new one I'm not really expecting to see any difference here but maybe just maybe all of that stone out here won't remain uh, it looks like it's all still stone Though maybe not quite all still stone. It looks like my grasslands have gone out a little further. Let's take a look. Okay, we are at five. And that was our lowest point for grassland dunes. Hmm. All right, so... Let's try um, another biome. And we're going to call this one Beach. And maybe, just maybe, we can get some things right and have beaches instead of stone. I'm excited because I'm I'm learning things. And I love learning. Mind test dot register biome. Why is it not giving me an option right there? Sweet. I love autocomplete too. All right. So, the name equals Beach. Yeah, man. Surf's up. Node dust. I wish I knew what node dust meant, but I don't even know how to experiment with that. Is that like something that will be scattered in it? No, we're going to try. We are going to try. Node top equals ground sand. And let's go ahead and put something in for this node dust field. And uh, let's do ground. Um, let's try water source. Yeah, sure, why not? See if maybe we'll get like little pockets of water on the beach. I don't know. I, what damage could it possibly do? None. Depth top. Uh, let's put that at four. And then node filler is going to be ground stone. It'll just... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do sandstone. I can see that making sense. And then depth filler. Let's go ahead and set that to be 10. Uh, node stone, we'll just leave that alone. Node water top, node depth. I don't know what any of those mean. But again, I'm assuming they default to whatever your aliases are from the map gen. Node riverbed. I don't even know why I need this. But whatever. Um, let's actually set that to ground dirt. Just to see what it actually is doing. Depth riverbed. 
Uh, and we're going to put that to two, I suppose. Okay. The y min equals negative five. And y max is going to equal 15. So beaches can only go 15 nodes above sea level, which uh, I guess seems um, seems realistic enough to me. Heat point, I don't know how much heat should we have at a beach? Maybe 65? Humidity. Um, I would think you would probably have a lot of humidity at a beach, so we're going to put that up to 70. All right, let's, let's try this code out. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that uh, subgame again, or not the subgame, but the world. And let's create a new one. Again, same seed, same name. So the only thing different should be the biomes being placed. Ooh. What in the? What in the world? Something weird is going on out here. And I don't know what. Water is... Oh, that's the dust? That was maybe a bad move. Let's change our no to dust. Because it places it on top. That's why that didn't work. Um, What do I have here? Let's do ground snow. It doesn't really matter what we use. Again, we're going to delete. So fun. Literature beats flying around trying to find new spots that haven't been generated yet. Because world gen happens pretty quickly here. Alright, so let's run out to the beach. I really need to figure out how to do the default privileges. Grant single player all. Um, okay, what do we have? Oh, it's that snow. Okay, well, that's fine. But it literally put it everywhere. Like, what's the point in... What? Why would you want that? It dusts, but it literally does everything. It's not a dusting. It's a full-on coating. Okay, well evidently... Yeah, that's you just have no dust. You don't have anything for like a percentage of the node that will be dusted. Well, in that case, bye-bye node dust. Alright, so let's see what we have. We have the ground sand. And we are sitting at an elevation of 5 here, which is fine. And if we go down below water, we have sand continuing on down. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I ever made a sandstone, actually. Because I've got a lot of sand here. And then I'm gone to normal stone. So the question is, what did I do wrong? Node filler, ground sandstone. That's weird. I don't have a ground sandstone. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, let's change that then. To, um, uh, let's try gravel. Okay. Try that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And play. I know, I know. I need to learn what that command, or the, well, how to change that setting. Okay, let's see what we have here. Is this gravel? That's not gravel. Why is this not working? Node filler. Okay, node top is ground sand. Yes, that makes sense. Depth top is four, so sand should be four deep. Oh. 
because it's sloped. I've never seen anything lower than four. Here we go. So there's four sand on top, and then we have gravel underneath. Which, for some reason, I can't dig that gravel. And the gravel should continue down for a while. But I'm going to die because I have no air. So maybe I'll just try this, you know, above ground, where it's relatively safe. Four sand. Very good. I'm going to put that in there because I th think when I dig new, it'll go into... Yes. Okay, so let's see. Gravel's supposed to be 10 deep, huh? Well, let's dig straight down and see if we get 10 gravel before we hit default stone. Or, uh, in this case, ground stone, as it is called. I got 9 gravel. I'm disappointed. Somehow the maths are off by 1. Oh, well, that's that's not a big deal. I mean, that's fine. No problemo. So let's actually test something else out here. Right quick while we's at it. I'm going to dig that out. Yep, gravel fell, sand fell. Good, that all works as it should. Uh, we now have beaches that have sand. And then they have, well, out here because there's nothing to fill the bottom of the water. It's just stone, which is fine. And we got little sand things. Nice, we finally have beaches. I like it. I like it. I really like it. It's nice to have some beaches. Oh, and like a little rivery chasm thing, but the... Wow. The water's not flowing at all. Oh, dude, this would be... This would be just tragic. If somebody were to hit that one node the whole chunk collapses which is actually kind of cool oh and then it fell on top of some stone so it won't collapse any further hmm all right so consider this a very brief introduction to biomes um of course if you go to the developer wiki there's a whole right up there on biomes and you can probably learn some stuff from there as well, but I like to learn by doing rather than just reading documentation, which unfortunately in projects that are ambitious and small, and by that I mean there's like small dev team, documentation is uh, unfortunately pretty often rather lackluster, which makes it hard to really learn everything just from reading the documentation. There's a lot of experimentation you need to do, which is why I'm doing this. So you don't have to do that experimentation because I'm doing the experimentation and showing you everything. And I had a guy leave a comment on YouTube like two months ago now when this goes live um, saying he really enjoys watching me do coding and kind of figuring stuff out as I go. So I thought, well, hey, hey, friend, uh, he his her i don't know which they were because their name i don't think they're native english and their um what's what i'm looking for their avatar on youtube's like a pig in a skirt with a spear or something so i don't know what their background is what their gender is so uh yeah i just had to say they said they liked it so hey you know if that's what People watching the videos want to see. That's what I'm going to give them. And yes, this is totally a passive aggressive way of saying, tell me what you want me to make videos of. So I know what to make videos of. And after that awkwardly long pause, I guess we will shut it off here. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.